Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app and a full-time mom and other stuff. Anyway, so today's video is going to be a thrift haul. Um, I recently went to Charlotte, North Carolina to do some sourcing. Uh, I live in Columbia, so it was like an hour and a few minutes away from me. It wasn't too bad. I stayed overnight. Um, and did a good bit of thrifting. I spent about $460, more than I wanted to, but I kept finding better stuff. Um, and of course, it just started to add up. So hopefully, if I'm lucky, I can at least make my money back. But I can maybe triple, quadruple that amount, I hope. Alright, so I know if you are used to watching my What Soul videos, I have not posted any in the last two weeks. I've been pretty much posting it to Instagram, so if you are not following me on Instagram, um, I will put my handle here, somewhere, over here, and you can follow me there. You can watch my Insta stories. That's where I'm going to post my items that sold. I typically try, like the last couple days I've had really good days, so I've been posting what sold throughout the day, um, but yeah, I'm probably just going to start doing my what sold on Instagram because it's just a lot easier to take pictures and just post them instead of doing a video and then having to edit the pictures into the video. I think that's pretty much why I haven't wanted to do it um, besides the fact that I've just been super swamped with everything. So anyway, <laughs> um, let's get into the haul. So the haul is actually going to be split because there's so much stuff like literally it's about five feet tall, <laughs> my death pile now. So I just took the top part off and I have it right here. So I'm going to actually go through these items here, show you what I got, and I will probably make another video a little bit later with the other pile. Um, as for the shoes, I think I have some of the shoes over here. And some shoes have already been put away downstairs. So um, I've been working on my inventory room. I basically used my laundry room, which was, uh, I live in a tri-level house in the bottom level it used to be two bedrooms and a garage but before we moved in they renovated it and took the garage out only used the back part of the garage for the laundry room so the majority of that room is where I'm keeping my inventory um, so of course I keep everything bagged up and in bins so um, yeah we'll see how that goes <laughs> all right I'm gonna start because I want to ramble um, so I went to multiple thrift stores in North Carolina. The one thrift store that I went to that I was not happy with, it was called the Community Thrift. And it was, I think, like one of the second um, thrift stores that I went to. Their prices were ridiculous. Like, they, you could tell they looked everything up. Like, literally, they took their time and looked everything up. They jacked the prices. They had a Forever 21 dress. It was like $45. And I was like, what? No. Um... Uh, they did miss a couple pieces, like anthropology pieces, and um, a Nicole Miller dress, and a few other things that I got from them. Um, but yeah, like they had a Tory Burch, like a tank top, and they had it marked up to $49, and I was like, really? No, nobody's going to pay that much. I have one sitting in my closet, a silk, beautiful silk green blouse, and it's just been sitting there. Nobody wants it. And I've sent offers. Nobody wants it. I've offered 20 bucks. Nobody wants it. So, it is what it is. All right, I'm, I'll shut up. <laughs> All right, so the first item I got, it was Torrid. Now, I did get a lot of Torrid. Um, I always buy Torrid because it always sells for me. Um, one of the dresses that I got actually sold the first day that I listed it. It was a tie-dye tank dress. And you can go to my Poshmark closet, look up Torrid in my category of brands or whatever. And, um... You can see that there. So this is Torrid. Um, it's just this cute little dress. It's a cheetah. I guess it's cheetah print. Like a cheetah print dress. Very cute. So we'll see how that does. I'm expecting to get at least 20 bucks for it. Um, so I'll probably end up selling it for 25 Typically people offer me 25 or 20 Um all right, so this came from Value Village Thrift Store, which it was a great store. I love that store. They had some good deals. This is a J. Jill. It is an 18 tall. I paid $2.50 for it. And it is this cute blazer jacket. Let me show you the, <clears throat> the 
tag, J. Jill, but it's this like a blazer jacket. And it feels like it's wool. Um, I'm not sure. I think it has some wool in it. <clears throat> yeah, it's wool, viscose, acrylic, polyester, and other fiber. I sold a J. Jill sweater pretty quickly. Um, so maybe that'll go too. I know springtime's coming and I have a lot of like winter clothes still in my closet and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sell them. Like I've been trying to give them away. Nobody wants them. So come bundle some stuff. I'll give you a great deal. Okay, this is Maeve, um, which is anthropology. I paid $3 from this or for this Maeve. And I have not checked these in my lighting, so you may see a stain or two. I don't know. I usually, like I said, I typically find stains when I'm doing my photos. So it's just this little white ruffle top. Oh, I about to say, I already see a stain. But no, it's just it's a cute little white top. Um, it feels like a linen cotton blend. And I'm so wrong, it's rayon and viscose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, this, I got this, I've never picked up this brand before, but when I like checked the prices, I was like, oh my gosh, like they were pretty expensive. This is Calypso St. Barth. It is this beautiful skirt. Now the comps that I was seeing were pricey, like super, super high. Um, these retail for like 300 and something dollars. Um, I'm not sure if this is silk. It feels like silk. Typically I do look at that when I buy these things. But it may not have had a tag in it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is silk. Yes, this is 100% silk. So this will be posted for a good bit. It's gorgeous. Alright, this is another Torrid dress. Um, size three, torrid, and it's a maxi dress. It's just this gray striped, um, very, very long maxi dress. Very cute. Um, smells good. This is Rick Rack, which I believe is Anthropology. It is 66170. It looks like anthropology, but it could be um, Urban Outfitters. Um, but yeah, it's just this cute little tank top, floral, cute little buttons. I thought it was really cute. I picked this up on accident. I didn't even realize I put it in my buggy. My buggy. Do you like when people say buggy? I'm from the South when we say buggy. But it should be, I put it in my cart. <laughs> um, it's Sisley and it's apparently not a good brand. It doesn't sell very well. Um, but it's a really cute dress regardless. So it is a maxi dress. And I'll show you the back. It's got like the buttons and then the open back. And it's just really long and pretty. I'll probably post it for like, I paid what, $6 for it. So I'll try to at least get that back. I paid $6.98 for this dress. This is Meadow Rue, which is anthropology. And it is in excellent condition. So it's this beautiful blue floral dress. I forget the name of it. I did look it up on Poshmark. Um, but yeah, look at those colors. Pretty. <clears throat> this is the first time I've ever found this brand. This is Hot Hippie. And it's a medium. I paid three dollars and fifty cents for it, and I found this on Revolve, so it's actually still being sold in this color, um, which is a good thing because that means people might pay a little more for it. I believe it is silk. Um, yes, it is 100% silk. It's a really cute top. It has like the low cut draping type of chest on it. It does need to be. Um, steamed very badly, but I think hopefully it'll sell pretty quick. Fingers crossed. 
as always. All right, this is New with Tags, Nanette Lepore. It's a size 10. I paid $4.98 for this. It is a silk dress, I believe. I don't think there are any labels in it. No. Kitty, what are you doing? Get away from the clothes. You know you're not allowed to run the clothes. All right, so it is an animal print um, silk dress. It's like a midi dress. Really cute. Um, I did see a couple on Poshmark, but they had sold already. Um, there were none in this size, which is a size 10, which is actually, it's a pretty good size. Alright, this is a Anthropology Sparrow, and it is a, like a sweater dress. Really pretty. Um, I did see a couple of these that sold on Poshmark. I will probably set this price up a little bit higher. I'm not expecting to get my actual amount that I put in on it. Um, but I am going to set it up higher so I can give offers. But it was really cute. And it is an extra small. I think the only ones that I saw were like mediums and large. Which is probably better. <laughs> but there are small people out there who need clothes. And sometimes they have a hard time finding them. Just like bigger people like me have a hard time finding clothes. So, Alright. Um, this I paid $3.98 for this. This is a Nicole Miller. And it's a silk. I believe it's silk. It is this like ruched all over it both sides really cute I don't know what this print would be called it looks like it looks like a reptile print but I don't know if that's exactly what it is I will just scour the internet until I find it and it's 40% silk 55% viscose and 5% spandex so pretty this is a Lily Pulitzer. I paid two bucks for it. Um, it's not one of the good prints, so it might not sell for that much. But I could probably get 20 bucks out of it, hopefully. And it definitely needs to be steamed. But it's just this plaid dress. It's got the belt, thankfully. A lot of times when you're thrifting and you find belted dresses, they don't have the belt because they take them out like Goodwill. Eh, there's a stain on the back. Two, let's see. Well, I'll have to stain treat that. Um, but yeah, so typically Goodwill will take all the belts out of items, it seems, because they just throw them all in a pile and all the dresses I'll ever go. So they usually take the belts out of the dresses and a lot of the stores that I go to here in Columbia and they just put them in a pile and sell them all separately, um, which I think is dumb. <laughs> All right, so I found this. Oh, this is the wrong thing. Where's the other thing at? I'll figure it out. All right, so this is H by Bordeaux. I have never sold this brand. I'm not really sure if it's a good brand. Um, I want to say I've seen it at Nordstrom, I believe. So I think it might go for a decent amount. I mean, the material is really soft. It's a cute style. Um, I know it's kind of, you know, for cold weather, but... Um, I'm in the south. It's still cold here, so I'm sure that up north it's cold, you know, so I'm gonna try to get all of these um, long sleeve sweater type stuff up as fast as I can and hopefully people will buy it. I'm really excited for the whole Canada Poshmark thing and what I'm trying to figure out is if they're going to let people from Canada Poshmark buy stuff from our platform or if they're just gonna have their own separate platform. I'm hoping that it's like I don't know. I'm hoping that they can, like, buy from us. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Alright, this is a theory dress. It looks like one of the newer ones, maybe? I don't know. Theory. It's just this black dress. It's got, like, a little tie on the front. Um, I do see a stain on the back. Not really stain. It just needs to be washed. A lot of this stuff does need to be washed. I think that's why a lot of the places price these things cheaper. Um, if you can see, 
it's stained. So I guess I should put that in the wash pile. I'm sure that pile will grow much larger once I go through all the clothes and start photographing things. Alright, this is a Madewell dress. Typically I find they're silk dresses, but this time I found this other type of dress. <laughs> it's like a cotton dress. But it's got like the ties. Really cute for spring and summer. It's got pockets. Everybody loves pockets. Alright, um, just a pair of Miss Me jeans. They were like $5.99. Um, I had never seen them with that on the butt before. I've always seen it with like embellishments, but it was kind of neat looking because it's got like the metal or the silver threading and then it was a distress, but I don't know sell those. I always sell Miss Me jeans. So this is Gian Franco Ferry. Now I just saw the jacket, which was the Gian Franco Ferry jeans. Um, I sold it for 20 bucks because I was tired of holding on to it. Even though it had sold on the real real for like 85 I just said to heck with it. I'm just, I needed money. <laughs> so this still has the tags on it and it does have some, a pink stain right there. But um, it's just a men's blazer suit for a suit. Um, it's got like pink stripes and it's gray. I guess this isn't technically the tag. It's a button. But um, obviously if it's got a button like that, it's never been worn, right? So, but yeah, it's just a blazer. I've never sold any men's blazers, so I don't know much about doing that. So we'll, we'll see how that one goes. <laughs> Alright, this is Cabby, um, older label. And it's just this cute little chiffon top. This is a J. Crew. I thought this was really pretty. It's just a um like a little blazer, a mini blazer. I think it would look so cute for spring. So I did see one other on Poshmark. So I don't know. It wasn't really going for much either. This is a vintage Lily Pulitzer. It's just a knit um, top. That's all. It won't go for much. I paid $2.50 for it. No, two, oh, I paid a dollar because it was orange tag was 50% off. So it was a dollar. This is Nanette. Nanette Lepore. And it is this cash. Is it cashmere? No, merino wool. Um, it had these cute little bell sleeves, which I love. And I didn't see any holes. Of course, before I list it, I will definitely totally you know, do the whole check because I have been tricked before when it comes to merino wool or cashmere. Whew, those holes, they like to hide. <laughs> so we will see. All right, these are Live by Big Star. Um, these ones were different. I found some of these, but not just like these. So these have the embellishment on the butt. You see it's got the studding. But these are the only ones that I found on Poshmark anywhere that had like the little rhinestones also. So these might be rare. Then again, they might not be. I'm hoping they are. They're in like new condition and they are dark wash. I have never found dark wash like these. This one is a blazer by Joy. And I did find this on Nordstrom for a lot of money. So, yeah. It's linen. Um, and it's got that chambray look to it. Really pretty. I did not see any issues with it. It did have like a thrift store smell to it. So it will be need to be washed. And hopefully I can wash it. Yes, I can machine wash cold. So, um, yeah. I will post that as soon as I get it washed. Okay, so this dress, I wasn't sure if it was Urban Outfitters or if it was Anthropology. I found it at Salvation Army and I paid $8.99 for it. It is called Snack. 
Can you see it? Um, it does have the 66170 on there. And it looked like an anthropology dress. So I thought it was so pretty. It's got like that vintage look to it. And then look at the bottom. Is this not gorgeous? It just looks vintage to me, which a lot of anthropology's dresses, they have that vintage look. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is, is anthro. Um, I don't know how much it'll go for. This is a mod cloth. And it is just a sleeveless, like a floral little top with ruffles on the front, buttoned down. Um, I think it's polyester. Or rayon, one of the two. Polyester. But it is pretty. I like that one. And then I found this is Salvation Army. This one's really cute. I paid $4.99 for it. It was blue tag, so that means it was $2.49, I think. But it is May, which is anthropology. But it's this cute studded top. It's like kind of see-through looking. I mean, it's gorgeous. And I didn't see any holes, I mean, except for the ones that are supposed to be there. And no staining that I saw. It's cute. So hopefully I can get about 20 bucks out of this, I hope. Or more. Maybe it's rare. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure I've seen a black one like that before. <laughs> Alright, this is a silk shirt by Fay F-E-I, which is also anthropology. And it is a really cute, um, like a boho type style. It's got these gorgeous, and I'm a sucker for these, but the embroidered flowers on them. I love so much. But yeah, I didn't see any stains, so that's a good thing. Alright, this is a Free People. It did not have a size label on it. Um, I paid $4.99 for it. So, it's just this tunic top. It's got like the little bell sleeves, and it's super long. It's got to be like extra small because it's really tiny. Um, I paid $4.99 for this. This is a North Face jacket. It's a men's jacket. It's an excellent, like, brand new condition. I actually found two North Face jackets and a Patagonia jacket. The Patagonia jacket was completely stained. The arm had black staining all over it. There was oil spots on the front. I was able to get the black stains off the arm and the majority of stains off the front, but there's still a couple that I cannot get out. So... I just put it in the throwaway pile. I'm kind of sad because it was in excellent condition besides the stains. It was brand new. Um, North Face Men's. Um, I paid $4.99. Like I said, it's in excellent condition. It's just this little pullover. Really cute. It's really soft. Okay, so here's another dress that I found. I have no idea if it's vintage. I have no idea who... I have no idea about it, right? So here's the label. Have you ever seen this label before? It looks like it says R backward S backward S S T backward S is what it looks like. It could be R22 S T2. I don't know. <laughs> but that's the only label that I saw in it. Um, it has that vintage feel to it. Even the buttons look pretty vintage to me. Um, so my, I just don't know. But I thought it was gorgeous. And it has the wool look to it. Now it could be polyester because they sure know how to fake it. But I really think it is vintage and it is wool and it's got these beautiful bouquets of flowers all over them it's like gray I love it and I hope somebody else loves it just as much as me who's able to fit into it but yeah so here's like the buttons they're metal so I don't know I tried to google that I don't know what to put because everything I've put in it's just not coming up 
All right, and this is a J. Crew. It is. It's a dress. I'm trying to see what type of material it is. It is a wool, 100% wool. It's navy blue. So it's just a navy blue wool. I guess this is what a sheath dress. It's pretty straight down. Nice. Oh, okay. I'll show you some of the shoes. So I found these Veer Wangs. And the only problem that I'm having now is I'm not able to properly clean them. So first of all, I'll show you the inside. This is that Vera Wang. I'm pretty sure this is the good Vera Wang, but I mean, because it's got like, you know, the leather sole. Um, I don't know how to get that off right here. And also, I don't think there's any hope for it <laughs> because I have a Louboutin bag that is the same patent leather type material. And when I got it, it had like something had melted on it or had sweat. Something happened, right? I've tried everything and it looks like it's like down underneath the gloss. But can you see? Do you know what can be used? to get this. It's not scuff marks. It's like it's like something bled onto it basically. It's just really odd. But anyway, so I got these. They're size sevens. They're cute. I was like, oh, we just got some scuff marks. I can fix that up. Nope. Could not fix that up. <clears throat> these are some Betsy Johnson heels. I just got them because prom I guess prom still in the future. I don't know. They may have already passed. <clears throat> Alright, these are Steven by Steve Madden. They're just some cute little wedge sandals. I got them because of the coloring. Um, apparently the neon colors are really in style. Everything, like I sold a bright pink neon, um, like a puffer jacket, like the day that I posted it for full price. So um, these are brand new, never been worn. Um, that was a good buy, I think. These are some Cole Hans. They are in pretty good shape. Um, they do have a couple little dingy spots and some scratches around here. But besides that, like the soles or the bottoms are perfect. And I found these. These are Vince Camuto. They are so cute. Look at that. Um, they don't seem to sell very well on Poshmark, so I'm surprised, but the colors that they were selling were ugly. So hopefully, because this is a black, somebody might buy it. <laughs> um, it's already listed, by the way, if you're interested in it. And I don't know if I showed you guys these. I did not get these from Charlotte. I got these from Columbia. It's another pair of Vince Camuto. They are riding boots. They are in excellent condition. And they are size nines. Um, I love these. These are so cute. However, I wear a size 10. And um, I'm pretty sure that my ankle will not, f not my ankle, but my calf won't fit into that hole. <laughs> my problem with boots. All right. So that was the first batch of stuff that I got. I have so much more over there. Um, I've been listing stuff. I have literally, for the last couple days, that's all I've done was sourced. I ran out of a death pile. And, of course, instead of just focusing on what I had and just relisting and deleting and all that stuff, so I decide to go out and buy more stuff so I have more work to do. And now my housework is suffering because I'm like, what do I do first? Housework or work work? Which one? Like, housework's not going to give me money. Poshmark is. What should I do? I don't know. Okay, so that was my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, I will try to start doing my sold videos again, but it might be just every now and then. Um, but like I said, be sure to follow me on Instagram, and you will definitely see them every week. At the end of the day on Sundays, you will see how much I made for the entire week. So, 
I will talk to you all later and I hope you have a great night. See you in the next video. Bye.